there it goes. <laughs> I'm sorry, we do not have as good of a setup as uh, Carterwin have on his system. Uh, welcome to our FF stream. We'll be going and starting brand new characters and starting the story from scratch with horrible RPing and absolutely even worse um, voice acting. <laughs> no, come back here. I don't want you to show that movie yet. <laughs> uh. It should be live, hope and hope. Yeah, it is. Okay, yep, there it goes. I can finally see the chat on my system. So let's see, why don't we start with the opening movie to the game? Or the original game? Or should, would that oh. be the second game? <laughs> yeah, it's still 2.0. <laughs> yeah, it's um, got some uh, history there. But this is effectively the opening to where our characters start. Uh, hi, Delenn. A vibrant planet blessed by the light of the crystal. Amid azure seas, encompassing the westernmost of the three great continents, there lies a realm embraced by gods and forged by heroes. Her name, Aeorzea. The annals of Aeorzean history chart the rise of a succession of great civilizations, each one enjoying an age of peace, the Astral Eras. To date, all have proven ephemeral. In the year 1572 of the sixth and most recent astral era, the Northern Empire of Gallimore amassed a great army at the heart of Eorzea, seeking dominion over all. Rising in desperate resistance, the forces of the Eorzean Alliance met their would-be conquerors in the field. Yet, even as the battle raged, the lesser moon, Dalamo was plucked from the heavens through imperial machination. From its core emerged the elder primal Bahamut, who unleashed his fury upon the realm. The devastation brought Eorzea to its knees and the era to its end. Five years have come and gone. The light of life still shines upon Eorzea. Man labors tirelessly to raise himself from the calamity's ruin. The realm is forever changed, a stranger to him once more. Yet heedless of what lies ahead, he shall press on. Spurred by the promise of peace and prosperity. Amid this period of great change, an adventurer arrives in Eorzea, one whose tale is yet unwritten. Wow, it's been so long since I've seen the opening movie. I've forgotten most of it. <laughs> May he ever walk in the light of the crystal. And that was actually their second starting movie. <laughs> Now, um, Rendis and I, we've already rolled up our characters. We just, hopefully, I will be able to start and just drop them into the starting cinematic. 
if uh, for some reason I don't fail, I can pull over uh, Rendis' stream so we can watch that. Because there's a lot of... FF is really good about their story. You need to pay... Watch that feedback, boy! <laughs> you need to pay attention or else you lose plot points. And there are a lot of plot points. You about ready to drop the new characters in? Yep. I have to help wait for you to make sure you're... Yeah, we've got some feedback going on. The fact you're saying it, I can't be saying anything. <laughs> well, let's drop in and see what we get. Yes, I went to log in with Rena. Ah, and we've hit World Q! <laughs> yep. Oh, that, that should totally not surprise me. Um, one of the interesting things that's happened is, of course, the new expansion re came out last month. Um, and the servers have been literally overloaded because everyone wants to play. For good reason. Oh, there we go! Oh no, it's gonna drop me into the DAW, isn't it? Well, we'll see what happens when I hit load. Hopefully what will happen is it'll drop me and then it'll drop me into Cine. No! I've lost my opening! <laughs> well, it's, it's time for me to save the day. Yeah, I'm just worried about your feed, uh, audio feedback. Yeah, well... Well, at the moment, it's good. Uh, do a screen share. And like I said, every time you've complained about it, I'm silent, and I'm not showing that I'm transmitting anything. <laughs> ah, hello, Pretty LaDonna! Fun. Nice to meet you, new yeah. bunny girl! And do note, for those of you watching, this is Hair Club, which means, among other things, big 80s hair. Yes. You must have big 80s hair to be in, in the Hair Club. Set. Go for it. <laughs> Curse you, World Q. <laughs> well, this is actually uh, pretty decent because for like the last month, just about all the North American servers have actually been closed off for people to create new characters with because the traffic has been so bad. Thankfully, the queue goes quickly. Yeah, it, it's not like, oh, the queue's going to be here for half an hour, let's go make a sandwich. Yeah, it's not like it was when WoW was <laughs> Back in the day. I remember when! No? of actually the main enemy.
no, no, that's all wrong. Yeah. You can see both her eyes. Only because the hat doesn't fit. Yeah, poor Veneera, they are denied hats. That's right, this is unvoiced. Yeah. One of the problems with the FF is they go in and out of voice acting, and it's kind of annoying. It's like, either do one or do the other. And well, Especially when it changes, like, in the middle of a scene. Yes, yes, yes. And, and That's I, what gets me. I do warn folks, the first part of the game that they released, like, over six, seven years ago now? Um, uh, no. It, the voice acting, when they yeah. changed it for the um, ad stuff that came on after uh, the initial game we released, they changed voice acting studios and it got so much better. Most. Mostly. I, Except I, 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 Ariane I, I, J. I miss Ariane J. M. and Bob Lyman's. Yeah, but Uri Uriangi, I, I miss Uriangi's original voice. Yeah. Oh god, it was so, so uh, beautiful. So, am I doing a reading on this? Considering I think that's going to be the, um, the old merchant fart. It is. Uh-oh. Oh, oh uh -oh. <laughs> my scrubs here kicked in. Indeed. Yeah, go ahead and do a reading. I'll, I'll pick up uh, uh, Kupla Cop. I think Kupla Cop shows up here. Hey. Hey, you. All right, laugh. You're moaning something fierce for a while, then. Feeling the effects of the Aether Iron. You'll get used to it, though. Don't worry. True blue sled. I love them. They really need to have that as a multi-person mount. You there. Oh. What's all this about? And search the carriage. Ah, we have the twins here. That's right. Hmm? I'm just not as pet their friend, so don't be too disappointed if you don't find one today. Mind your tongue, old man, lest I cut it out. Oh, brass plates are so cheery. Look, uh, sir, look. Soma. Honest Peddler, was it? Since when do Honest Peddlers deal in prohibited herbs? You're in a lot of trouble, old man. You'll rot in a dungeon till the end of your day. Unless you can afford the fine. Eh, business as usual. Ah! Amolja! Amolja! Two arms! Two arms! Hmm, getting some frame stutter there. Probably the stream from my system. <laughs> uh, comment in chat. Yeah. But those rooms are legal in Los Vargas! <laughs> well, it was like my thing playing a smuggler back in uh, Star Wars Old Republic. All my cargoes are legal. Where I bought them. Not necessarily where I can live. <laughs> that was so Odessa. Seven hells, consider this a warning. Now go, all of you. Uh, 
Huh. That kind of excitement ain't good for the heart. You be careful around them. Uh, brass blades, class. Bastards will have a shirt off your back if they bend you. Like common bandits they are, only less honest. Thanks to the gods for sending some beastmen to the rescue, eh? Seeing as we've still got a long ride ahead, my keep and me company till we arrive. I don't have anywhere else to go. It's not them like these two talk much. Them young'uns don't care much for conversation, see? Prince the name, and Pedlin's mid train. And judging by your end, you I'll wager you're one of them new adventurers. It's too odd. I know it. Going wherever the wind blows, seeking your fortune and glory. Now that's what I call weather. So long as you can avoid dying, I mean. Ain't no secret that adventurers are risky to them. You days especially. How was it that first attracted you to it? Ah, the big question. Glory. I mean, the rock band didn't really work out, so this is my second try at it. <laughs> and it's interesting that that's in the new format. Glory. Oh, if you're willing to uh, take on them tasks as, as other bulky, adventure such as yourself can win fame and what coin can't buy. Arrive in town, you'll want to report to the adventure school. You can find out everything you need to know about the adventure that's in there. Just remember them. There are more important things than fortune and glory. Let's just breathe them. Ain't no profit in being dead, and that's a fact. By the by, is this your first trip to Old Dog? No. <laughs> Are you talking the player, or are you talking the character? <laughs> yeah. Uh, definitely not as player, and I'm gonna go with the character. She didn't quite make the sirens last year for the uh, concert, though. Oh, did you notice that the sirens were in the gold saucer for, uh, the Make It Rain campaign? Uh, you might have mentioned that at the time. They were helping Rose with the fashion report. Oh, dear. Oh god, it was hilarious. Anyway, continue. Sorry. I, I... <laughs> Spoilers! Of course, of course it is. Well, might be this journey to itinerant has a few new things to teach you about your destination. <clears throat> well, I was ruled by the Sultana ending, but as most folk, the Syndicate holds all three. Them and their monetarist cronies would happily get rid of her grace altogether. That won't happen while she still commands the loyalty of the royalists. And the royalists are nothing if not loyal. These factions have long sought power, throwing the weight of their wealth into each other, and they show no sign of stopping. Of course, the lizard men, that's the Alja, could care less about old dog politics. They have their own interests, see? They ain't afraid to they say the war is a gift to peasants. Need breed and profit. And though it shames me to say it, I'm inclined to agree. Ah, at long last. Behold Ulda, jewel of Thanalan. Hulk turns sand into gold. Deep in the sun-baked south, surrounded by the shifting sands of an endless desert, she rises. A solitary rose amidst the dust and rock, a symbol of defiance. Her name, Ulda. Even with the coming of the seventh umbral era, 
Hope springs eternal for the mongers and merchants who vie for lost fortunes in this bustling oasis. As the twin faces of Nold Thal maintain their vigil over all that has been and shall be, the present proffers a brave soul. One whose arrival could mark the beginning of a new era of prosperity for the realm. Here's where we part way for last. I'm off to the markets to deliver me bears. Then it's on to the high road for me. Here, I want you to have this. My way of thanks for putting up with me gravel. Don't ask where my pocket is. <laughs> yeah, we're, we're... No, I'm not going to ask where I your pocket is. I said are. don't ask. <laughs> Never did tell me your name, though. Hey, but here's an idea. Become the sort of storied personage I can brag about having met, I'll consider us a square. May the traders nurture our fortunes as they kindle the flames which burn within us all. For by fire are we reborn. You know, you, you realize we're going to have to glamour those heels onto everything. Okay. <laughs> hey, title logo! Ooh. Lucky. We're officially in the game. Now, let's see if they've logged me out as being <laughs> on... <laughs> AFK. Actually, this particular race um, has no men folk in the game currently. It is a female-only race. Um, that will probably change Where's in the, the future, because I, I was know. really looking funny for a bun bun boy, but um, I was denied. Denied. <laughs> Oi, adventurer, over here. But then again, I've never done the old hold on uh, intro. Ah. He's actually kind of important. We our mains have met him a couple of times. Okay. I I mean you. Fresh off the carriage by any chance? Hey, how can I tell? Because <laughs> you're wearing bunny lingerie. Um. <laughs> no, no, this is not lingerie. You have not seen the lingerie. This, this is very true. <laughs> On the other hand, given what that's like, I'm not sure you can see the lingerie. Continue. Name's Wymond, and my business is knowing every bugger, uh, bugger else. Now then, what if I was to offer you some invaluable advice by way of welcome to our fair city? Free of charge you, just this once, like. In other words, I'll end up paying for it later. Yeah, he's effectively the local rumor monger. Yeah, I don't recognize that outfit, but I remember the name. Da -da! And this is about Welcome. where I come in. Welcome to Uldan, the shining beacon of prosperity rising from the deserts of Thanalan. Oh, now, that's right! Prosperity might be a bit much. We're technically instanced at this point. We can't see each other. Wow. Ready, speak to my mom. Give me a sec, I, I need to... I turn off my controls. And should I stop streaming? Um, go ahead and turn off your uh, screen share. I've already moved it to the side. Okay. So people can see my bun bun instead. In yeah, all so her... we were dealing with chocolate. Yes, <laughs> in all her chocolatey glory. Okay, my mom. Move that to there. I really don't need that tutorial. Thank you. 
Boy. You're getting the how to uh, walk your character around tutorial? Uh, that and that one. <laughs> Accepting a quest. Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, I, I'm that here. One. Coming to Ulta. Anything like coming to America? To be recognized as an adventurer in the city-state of Ulta, you must register yourself with the Adventurer's Guild. Explain to anyone with a size that you don't know your way around here. If I let you go wandering off down the nearest dark alley, you're certain to get mugged or worse, and I don't want that on my conscience. It's not like I have anything worth stealing. No one else is going to fit in this armor. Trust me. <laughs> yeah, Vera, or... Well, actually, they've been kind of common around here lately. Yeah, um... Well, let's just say the population of uh, anime cat girls and boys has dropped significantly, <laughs> but not significantly enough to make up for the fact that they were two thirds of the population of the world. <laughs> yeah. Leather in a can confirmed. <laughs> Thank you. Uh, yeah. Burns were weird technology or angles where technologies could make a killing in this world. Oh, totally. <laughs> so before you do anything else, you'll want to head over to the quicksand and speak with Momo. She's the master of the adventure skill and can set you on the right path. Just take those steps over yonder and pass through the double door. You'll find her inside. And that's as much as you're getting for free. Good luck with the adventure and adventure. Gee, thanks, Lamon. <laughs> do me a favor and don't do me any favors. <laughs> you have begun a quest! Woo! Use the duty list to help complete your task. And there's the duty list tutorial. Thank you. Yeah, we'll go ahead and close that. Uh -huh. But we have to go through the whole thing to get out of the instance. Um, FF is kind of annoying in the fact that it really wants to hold your hand until it doesn't, and then you w really wish it was holding your hand. <laughs> Actually, Manamu go out at the uh, front door. Hmm. I think I missed her. Yes, you did. Went right by her. I'm sorry. I am, I am a blind bunny. Ah. Uh. If you're looking to mingle with folk from all over, then the quicksand is the place for you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Then we the have... Sand, go inside. And, and the... everyone else will be here later, so I'll just go over to the party. Okay. Like words. Thank you. I didn't need that tutorial either. <laughs> Momodi. Okay, let's see if I can do Momodi. She's actually pretty cool. She's actually... A very All neat All three of the in, or proprietresses are. Well, hello there! Who might you be? If you're looking to join the Adventures Guild, you've come to the right place. My name's Momodai, and I have a fine establishment, if it pleases you. I also manage the Adventures Guild here in Yulda. So you might say that, it, ah, so you might say that looking after green adventures like yourself is my vocation. And with luck for you, it is. Without someone like me to steer you right, you'd soon find yourself in the middle of nowhere, caught up in business you don't understand. Trust me, around here with the local climate, middle of nowhere is a bad place to be. Yes. <laughs> Like our conflict with the Omalja, for example. They've been plaguing the Sultan that for nigh on, oh, forever now. Then there's the Garlean Empire. None can say for sure what they're plotting these days, only that they are. Aye, the people drink and make merry, but underneath it all, there's worry and worry and lingering feelings of loss. I have to say, those dancers have amazing stamina. Yeah, they've been going on for what, six years now? Yeah. <laughs> six Never years did they break? break. 
<laughs> and little wonder, it's scarce been five years since the lesser moon cracked open like a giant egg, releasing an abomination intent on turning the realm into an eighth hell. So much was lost in the blink of an eye. Twas the end of the world had come at last. But then, but then things began to get foggy. Everyone's got their own versions of what happened next. Some of them, two or three. All titans. <laughs> You'd think people would remember something like that, but the fact is, they don't. Nobody does. There's one thing the survivors agree on, though. The part played by a band of adventurers who laid down their lives for the realm that wasn't their own. They fought valiantly, and like so many others, they never returned. Deeds worth remembering, I'm sure you'll agree. It's just a shame our recollections of the brave heroes are just as jumbled as those of the Calamity itself. Whenever we try to call on their faces to mind, it's like they're standing between us and the midday sun, permanently silhouetted. I'd bet that sounds poetic to you, doesn't it? Well, it's not. It's bloody infuriating. But even if we can't remember them, we won't let them be forgotten, and so we call them the Warriors of Light. Had to put that reference in there. Right at the beginning. And they'll forever stand as shining examples of what adventurers can achieve. That's why I wanted to welcome new arrivals like you to our fair city. Oh god, the butt shots are going to be mighty. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> All I ask is that you lend a helping hand and try to leave Olda a better state than when you found her. If you can promise that, I'd be happy to let you join the guild. It's going to be especially bad in Old Dawn where there's lots of potatoes. Yeah. Sorry, Popotos. Yes, Popotos. <laughs> <laughs> All right, then. A promise is a promise now. I'm counting on your help to put the past behind us. We need people working and spending and bickering like the old days. And happy and prosperous old dog means more business for the quicksand, too. There's always a uh, profit motive somewhere. Uh, with Lollafell, there is always profit to be made. Any road, let's make this official. Go ahead and write your name in the register, neat as you can. Raina Frith. Well, ain't that a charming name? Just rolls off the tongue, it does. All right, Miss. They approve of it. <laughs> I, I, I still so thought it was hilarious. Different if you use one of the, if you go for a silly name. If you go for a non-canon name. Yeah. They kind of look at you side-eyed. <laughs> it's hilarious. <laughs> All right, Miss Frith. On behalf of the Adventures Guild, I officially welcome... Please, sir, be merciful. To all those my witness, I swear to you, I'll bring you your money. In the East, it is said that even a merciful god might be driven to vengeance if threats lapse them. Be grateful you are given a fourth chance to attend. You two, attend to this god. Ah, oh, please, mercy! Well, ain't that a sorry sight. Nor an uncommon one, if I'm honest. Don't worry, though. If you work hard, I doubt you'll end up like him. Just the same, if you... Excuse me. Just the same, if you ever need a bit of advice about one thing or another, pay me a visit, and don't go bothering me every time you stub your bloody toe, all right? Of course, I do enjoy hearing a lady's muse about many man, on the many manhoods of her acquaintances from time to time. Any road, welcome to Old Arena. Take a moment to catch your bath, and I'll teach you a little about our fair city. Ooh. 
Ooh, my first quest complete. I'm so excited. <laughs> I'm so happy. <laughs> this, this concludes the introductory game tutorial. You've taken the first step as an adventurer in the city of Mumbai. Listen well to the wisdom of Mumuri Moody, and then go forth and discover the incredible adventures that await you. Yes, thank you. Yeah, I will, the, the flaming circle means main story quest. We know this. <laughs> Close to home. Modi, the proprietor of the quicksand, wants you to perform three tasks that will help you learn the fundamentals of adventure. You will be visited by three quests. <laughs> Before you go charging off to find your fortune, I have a few basic tasks I'd like you to perform so as to help you get to know the place. First of all, I want you to visit the Aetherite Plaza. To get there, head west from here till you reach the Emerald Avenue, then look to the north. You should see a giant floating crystal called an Aetherite. If it weren't for the Aetherites, traveling around Aerzia would be a damn slight more troublesome than it is. Of course, if you need to attune to them um, beforehand, you can use them, so be sure to do that with the one in the plaza. You attuned with all the Aetherites before, Arena? If not, just lay your hands on the thing and you'll see what I mean. When you're done with that, I want you to pay a visit to the Gladiators Guild over at the Colosseum. Assuming that sword ain't for show, you might consider training there. I assume you're getting something slightly different because you went to uh, Thaumaturge? Yes. You so won't. effectively it's a point or two our starting class guild. Yes. And finally, I want you to visit the Sapphire Avenue Exchange over the Steps of Fall. Goods from all over Eorzea and beyond turn up there every day. You'll have no trouble finding armor, weapons, or anything else a fledgling adventurer like yourself might need. What? It wasn't a must-needs? Wait, this is supposed to be early game, right? Um, you don't get a whole lot of must-needs out of Wall of Hell at first. True, true. Um, the must-needs uh, tend to be more, uh, Elizen. Yeah. Um, that's more the accent and grammar style they go for. You might say everything's for sale here in Old Aw, as long as you've got the gill. Just make sure you don't pay more than you ought, Reina. There's plenty that won't scruple to swindle unsuspecting foreigners like yourself, especially if they think no one's looking out for their best interests. Which is why I'm giving you this letter. When you take it, when you visit the exchange, find a gentleman named Cesarogo, Cesaroga, that, and give it to him. He'll be happy to tell you about the market once it's, he's read it. In short, then, visit the Aetherite Plaza, the Gladiators Guild, and the Sapphire Avenue Exchange. Simple. Oh, but before you go, one word of advice. While there's more than a few unsavory characters out there who will try and take advantage of you, there's also some honest-to-goodness problems who you should consider offering your help and hand to. I.E. side quests! A side lot quests of... are mighty in this game. <laughs> oh, yes. And they are actually kind of plot relevant. A lot of folks are lured to this city with the promise of wealth and power, with what many of them fail to realize that instead of chasing after Gil the moment they get here, they ought to be making friends. Let it be known that you're willing to give as much as you get, and the opportunities will come your way. And so will all the equipment. Speaking of which, you should speak with the smithy over yonder. Those lads always have some good advice for up-and-coming adventurers. Otherwise, otherwise, that's about it for me. It's past time you get going. Oh, and let me know when you've finished, will you? That way I won't spend all my day worrying that you're down to your small clothes without a guilt to your name. Gee, thanks, Momodai. Oh, this is kind of close to that. 
You can't get much smaller than this. Well, actually, you can, but... <laughs> yeah, don't give them a challenge. Oh, they will happily take it. Oh, look, I have 15 pieces of nail. I have 10. <laughs> now, the fact that that came in, indeed, and... Hmm, there's three buns here. Wow! You're tall! Yes? What's your point? I have a point? Yes, it happens to be on, on, on your butt. Same as mine. <laughs> yeah, they are kind of pointy butts, aren't they? <laughs> uh, well, shall we go check out the Aetheroy Plaza? Yes. You know you want to. I, I have to say, you know, the Aetherites are their convenient teleport system and all that, but, and sometimes they ignore them when they shouldn't, but on the other hand, at times they do make them plot right. Yeah, um, having an Aetherite system and not having access to an Aetherite system kind of gets important. Oh, hi, Wymond. You... Want to offer us a side quest, don't you? I can see going that golden this? bang over your head. You going with this, then? Yeah. Part of her leading us around the city is to pick up the stupid side quests. Well, <laughs> yes. Do don't. What? Yes, like to know... small clothes are considered underwear. <laughs> well, that's one of the names for them. Yeah, they, they've seen it in other places, too. Mm -hmm. My mom would like to know what you think of that. Uh, so, how are you taking to old Dollar, don't you? Make any new friends in the high places yet? <laughs> well, when you've got this whole ton of deer one day, I hope you won't have forgotten about old wife. No, I won't have, and yes, I will have her for some. <laughs> I, I've looked ahead of the plot. As long as you're here, mayhap you can do me a favor and take this to Josiah's end of the garage. It's just over yonder, and the man will be for And if only all work in the city was this of which I did a little research. Apparently, the Silver Mirage in 1.0 was the gambling casino that you could actually go in. Hmm. So it the is, equivalent to the Gold Saucer? It has since been replaced by the Gold Saucer, which is apparently much more awesome. It's hard to get much more awesome than that. And I have to say, I'm going to be happy when we get a chance to visit it because I want to screenshot that darn... Uh, Cactar. <laughs> yes, that Cactar. Because you awesome. never get to see the cinematic again. Unless you go into your book. Is it in the book? Hmm? I never got around the book. Oh, Other look! Our leather. first pieces of a gear! Which... Uh, one of them will. Judge Akuta, the merchant, is visibly perturbed and in need of some... Tell me, what brings you here, friend? Huh? Looking for a bit of work, perhaps? Some small job to add a little weight to that coin purse of yours, sir? Well, you're in luck. The uh, uh, Pugilist just placed an order with me for several of the leather gloves and harnesses they use for sparking. But the traitors are cruel, for I find myself lacking the hides required. Would that I had the pelts of a uh, few snapping shrews. What say you, friend? Here to help a merchant down on his luck? Hmm? Bring me five snapping shrew pelts and I promise to make it worth your while. You can find the creature's roaming temple panel at. Reed, go out and slaughter local innocent crit critters. Yep, this is an MMO. <laughs> you know, I might happen to know a girl who might be able to get you more leather than you know it. <laughs> yeah. You have business with Platinum Mirage this week. Yeah, really? we've got this silver sealed envelope. This no, we've got the, this tutorial. Oh, God. <laughs> Hovering over item. Really? <laughs> yeah. This they hold unmarked. your hand way too much until they don't, and then you wish they did. <laughs> yeah. Oh, God, yeah. 
This unmarked envelope contains a missive sent by local businessman Wymon. And yes, we do generally read all the descriptions of all the uh, quest items like this because about one time in five is something snarky and hilarious. Oh, hello, Mr. Orogaden, covering up my camera. Um, <laughs> sorry, Rogadin. Um, <laughs> well, Momodi was asking about the men in your life. You gonna count? No. Aww. Not as dirt as you. <clears throat> I'm missing from Wyman. Alright then, let's have a look. Bird is barren. Let the hounds be. Oh, this? Well, you see, guild is often contracted to provide protective service. Unfortunately, for this particular reason, Wyman's investigation revealed his finances. Maybe adventurers like you don't mind working for free, but we have a business to run. I have my own mouths to feed, so this will have to fend for itself. And hello, hello there, Mr. Uh, guild receptionist for the Pugilist Guild. Or is that Pugilist Guild? That's up to you. You're the Pugilist. No, I'm not. I am not oh. a Pugilist. That's right. A lot. And they oh. lead you all over the city. <laughs> Motivational speaking. Gelser does not like the way you're looking at him, but we'll let it pass if you deliver a message for him. Hey, you. I saw you looking at me. You have something to say, huh? No? Well, I do. You know, oh, did a lot of short, broke, never pays what he owes. Yeah, that read an art. Tell him to pay up, or I swear by the twelve, I'll beat him so hard, it'll feel like the second coming of Dalamut. If I see that little shape to face, I'll end up telling him into a bloody pole play. So you go and tell him. Well, um, I, don't I, miss I, words. I, I, tell me how you really feel. I think he's upset. What do you think? I'm just a little. And hello, Haman. Ah, uh, Ah, oh, that's right. They all their emotes are like one word off from what I think they are. <laughs> now let's go over the daddy. This way. Uh. Oh, right. Eighth right process. That was that way. Durr. Hey, it's not like I've been to the city before. Obviously, you're the dippy bunny of the family. You think? Somebody needs to. Yeah, and... I don't know. I think this is an aetherite. <laughs> well, I have this word aetherite floating in midair. Want to pick this one up? Um, I'm trying Ninibaru? to remember is Ninibaru female or male? I have no idea. Okay. So and I, I you, know, <laughs> you know, I threatened and I'm willing to go forward with the we have to get. So, you know, you get all the male voices and I get all. No, we, we can mix it up. I don't think people care. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Venture. Might you have come on behest of Miss Momodai of the Quicksand? Excellent. Which brings us to the matter of the attunement fee. That will be 100,000 gills, if you please, madam. <laughs> Apologies, but I do so relish the opportunity to make a jest. The look on your face was absolutely priceless. Uh, but the fact that you were so easily deceived suggests to me that you are unfamiliar with the use of the aetherite, so allow me to explain. Great, the aetherite tutori tutorial in potato form. <laughs> These crystalline... What the hell word is that? Agglomeration. <laughs> yeah. Agglomeration? Okay. These crystalline agglomerations tap into the ethereal energies 
and are primarily used as a means to travel swiftly from one place to another. Perchance you have heard the, of return and teleport? Well, these transportation spells make direct use of the Aetherite and their connections to flow of the Aether. Given that there's an Aetherite in almost every corner of Eorzea, any adventurer with a mind to explore the realm will wish to seek out and attune to herself to as many, to each and every one. But even if you have no intention of wandering beyond the Sultanate's borders, it would be prudent for you to attune yourself to any eighth rite you encounter from now on. I pray you... there be a lot? Oh yeah, there are a lot. And man, early in the game, you have to be careful because it can ka hit the pocketbook. <laughs> I pray you found that informative. Should you wish to learn more about Aetherites or transportation magic, I should be happy to answer it, your questions. So long, little potato. Turn learn. You attune with the Aetherite. You are now able to use the return spell. Woohoo! <laughs> now remember... Not only that, but I get the return uh, um, um... Yeah, that word. <laughs> now we have to remember to properly set our home point. Uh, ah, already set his home. Because it's the only one on our list. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> Would you believe poor Thethe is still homed in Idleshire? I'm still home to South Trout. Oh dear. Oh, oh dear. <laughs> That's going to get, um, interesting. Uncomfortable-ish, like. Ah, I keep hitting my auto run and it's not set on this character yet. <laughs> There's a cat boy for ya! Woohoo! <laughs> ah. Okay then. <laughs> oh yeah. Come here often. Baron can window shop, so can I. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> well, here's the little uh, short stuff the one guy wanted us to beat into a pulp. <laughs> no, he doesn't want us to beat him into a pulp. He just wants us to threaten to. And he wants us to do it because he will do it if he did. Yeah, well. Take your pick. Really? Really? <laughs> did you just get free company invite? Yeah. <laughs> <sighs> and so it begins. <laughs> yes. We are going to be barred, bombarded with free company invites until we hit 15. Um... <laughs> Um, do we want to just get ourselves into cold to avoid that? Uh, get ourselves into what? Um, uh, Oracle? Oracle, yeah. It is tempting! <laughs> but then we'll have this chat box streaming of, Fee! Fee! Why aren't you in Shadowbringers yet? You need to get with the story in Shadowbringers! <laughs> yeah, well... There's a price for everything. <laughs> we love our guild. Really, we do. But sometimes they can be a little demanding. <laughs> oh, God, be good. Gaither's good! Oh, all right, all right. I'll give back every kill I owe. I swear. No more beatings. Thank you. No, and we'll just look at you old. with really, really big, watery bunny eyes until you cave. Stare. <laughs> Using items. Wow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Kill for gold. What? Vidalata uh, need help to repay a long overdue death. Bill's overdue. Bill's way overdue. Oh, look, I haven't got the gill on hand. I do have this ring. 
much to look at, but surely such a high price. It was my dear departed mom's wedding ring. God trust her soul. She'll understand. Show to Mamane over at the office where you get your coin. I'm not holding my breath. Are you holding my your breath? I'm not holding your breath, no. <laughs> I'm asking if you're holding your breath. Oh. I'm not oh. holding your breath either. <laughs> See? There. Unanimous. Ah, <laughs> uh, and the Thaumatur just killed. First, let's talk with Mamane here. Greetings, adventurer. What brings you to the ossuary? Gaudy ring. One look at this extravagant ring would make anyone question did a lot of mother take in finery. Ow! Got the descriptions? <laughs> Ow! Yeah. You wish to sell this heirloom on behalf of Diddy Lotta? Very well. It's most unfortunate when such drastic measures must be taken. And doubly so when the eyes in question is a fake. <sighs> and such a garly, poorly wrought one. Also, you do know that our appraisal fees are not free. Normally this fee would be subtracted from the agreed value. Alas, considering... Hmm? Of which there is none. <laughs> yeah. Alas, considering the negligible value of the ring, I'm afraid you would still owe us. However, since this is a rather unusual circumstance, we shall waive this fee for once. No one need concern yourself with this bauble. I will personally see it disposed. I will take the potion! Give me the potion! Then I will probably just throw his vendor bait. <laughs> uh, I thought I'd, uh... Donated to the Ghana for the uh, Doman rebuilding uh, fund. That, that's going to be a while. It'll still be there. Yes, yes, it will. <laughs> okay. Do we want to do your beginning class quest? I was going to ask about that. Let's do Erasmus first. Okay. Erasmus? In the name of science! Oh god, it's gonna be one of those. <laughs> Erasmus of the Thaumaturge is given preoccupied with the thing, but his brow is furrowed in a way that cries out for help. Help me! Help me! I'm Erasmus of the Order of Naldthal, and I am charged with studying the anatomy of this region of and the environs in which they dwell. For the dark art of our order is death itself. Power over death only to knowledge of life. One day I shall publish my findings in a single comprehensive book, The Many Breaths of Thanalan. But there is much work to be done before that day. You're going to want me to go out and kill things, aren't you? Yeah, he's going to want us to go out and kill things. Oh, well, he did say hey, their occupation is death, so killing... Yeah. Aid me, sir. Bring me five bottles of marmot, and perhaps I shall name you in a footnote. Oh, don't put yourself out. Marmots are hardy creatures that thrive nigh everywhere. You will most certainly find them just outside the town, by way of the gate of the up. Do take care. They can be feisty little critters with threatened. They can also be absolutely adorable. Yeah. Seriously, do we have to kill marmots? Yes. <sighs> I need something to yell explosion at. <laughs> Want to turn on screen share? Yeah. Just there. Let me move this back over and boom. We can now fuzzily see through your camera eyes. <laughs> Welcome to the Thalmaturge game. It, uh, it is fate that has guided your steps here this day, friend. I see that you harbor arcane ambitions. So your journey has scarcely begun. Within these hallowed halls, the earths of devastation are taught by evil magics which, uh, with which to bring about an enemy's ruin. If you would join our ranks and wield such power, you must needs know of our beginning. 
There oh you God, go. Here comes the history lesson. <laughs> more, more important than that, there was our first must needs. True, true. We finally have a must needs. The nation of Ulda inherited its traditions from ancient B uh, Boadia, a city founded by the descendants of the first nation. The secrets of these illustrious sorcerers were ultimately entrusted to the priests of the Order of Eld Hall, who have passed them down from generation to generation ever since. Focused and refined over centuries of use in the Order's funeral rites, the arcane magics of our ancestors eventually emerged in the Order we now know as Thaumaturgy. Freezing blizzard to halt corruption, a raging fire to cleanse the corpse, a bolt of lightning to expel the sins of mortal life. The homers employed in the preparation of the dead are equally as vicious as when applied to the living. It is for this reason that we are feared and respected in equal measure. Thus does our guild thrive and is gone in the catacombs of Arzam Oswald, a sanctuary devoted to all by murder of the afterlife. What say you then, adventurer? If you would plumb the abyssal depths of Thaumaturgy, let our learned sages guide your descent. Ah, but before you leap into the darkness, you must prove to our guildmaster that you are possessed of the spiritual fortitude necessary to look upon that which awaits with their end. When you are ready to submit to the judgment of our most eminent sages, say the word. Now remember, folks, there's going to be a quiz on it in about 50 levels. <laughs> and I'm not joking! <laughs> um, I wish I was! Yeah! <laughs> well, adventurer, will you join our guild, or do you presume to ignore the urgent of an ancient acceptance? Way of the Thaumaturge. Those brothers are so great. Oh god, the the Thalmaturge leaders are hilarious. Yeah, Yaki wishes to re wishes you to reaffirm your desire to join the Thalmaturge. A wise decision indeed. To prepare for your initiation, I would have you study the volumes of the Thalmaturge principle, all 108 of them. Yeah, this quest will take a while. Or at least I would if such requirements had not been abolished. Too great a deterrent to fresh novices. I suppose you shall just have to settle for calling upon the quantum wisdom of our guildmasters. We have five, you see, all brothers of the same house. Though they all wield supreme authority, it is the eldest who provides a singular voice for the guild when one is required. Master Coco by Coco uh, Coco by you, I believe. Really? <laughs> now there are some small clothes. Yeah. <laughs> he probably sold. He's his... been. A, he's probably what? Like, well, yeah. He's level five, and he's already been to the gold and lost his shirt. Lovely. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you have not seen the demonic small dolls in this game. They are creepy AF. Uh, they're in the anti-tower. Uh, <laughs> okay, just checking around. Bentley? We gather here in Great Falls Hall of Worship to study the mysteries of the Thaumaturge. I ask that you maintain a mood of quietude. Oh no, not for us. We couldn't care less how loud you are. It's Priestess Mamani. She's very strict about it. Doesn't <laughs> Oh, huh? Yes, cast without constraint, my courageous colleague. Draw on the aromas of dire and deadly destruction. <laughs> and of course, the two behind you in the kind of ritual poses. Yes, yes, yes. Bunny? Judge me by my stature, do you? You will not be so dismissive once I encircle you with insomnolence, scrawl obscenities on your face with dem dem with human blood ink. Ha! Yeah, he'll do it too. He would. 
<laughs> Who might know? Who? What? Oh! I was hey, Smith! Did your mother never tell you not to startle a thaumaturg? Come on, I'm kinda big and obvious. How can this be coming? Look at that expected face, Kukumiko! This lady is obviously a new applicant in the guild seeking audience with our eldest brother. Oh, really, Ayaki, she can recite the 307 verses of the funerary rites for its fallen memory. The simple task of keeping our name straight seems ever beyond her craft. <laughs> well, I for one find the constant endlessly entertaining. My apologies, my dear. My merriment was not meant to mock your mistake. As it is her sibling Kukubuki with whom you should speak. Yeah, the only one with, with that out. What's this? What's this? Great Fall is lit. Uh, bah. Great Fall has led to us a new aspirant. Ah, Kukubuki! Where were you? Were you here the entire time? Greetings, child. I am Kukubuki, the eldest, and I would venture to say the wisest. My masters of the Thaumaturg. It is my solemn duty to furnish our would-be initiates with a distinct understanding of our beloved one. Thus, I will attention. Real Thaumaturgy is to unleash devastation of the highest magnitude. The lethal force of our spells far exceeds the destructive capability of any other keen manipulation. Until black magic. Gosh. Spoilers. <laughs> Spoilers! <laughs> Fire, lightning, blizzards, tumulants, please. But, uh, yeah. Did they get rid of that one? Mm hmm. Sweep. Which one? Sweep. No, um, sleep is still around, but only for oh. healers. Right, some of you, England, sleep is gone. Bang! And they, <laughs> this is out of date. Lovely! <laughs> I've, I've been gypped! <laughs> uh, you might need to double check on that, but I think sleep is now a healer-only ability. Which no one ever uses. Yeah, well, yeah, not like it. Do it a few times relatively early on as Black Mage, and it, it the Thaumaturge calls upon an expansive arsenal of offensive incantations to incapacitate and obliterate all manner of effort. Open your mind to this, uh, to our sorcerer's teaching, and you, too, shall soon hold the unparalleled power of our discipline in the palm of your hand. Stop that screensaver! <laughs> You're interrupting our feed! Sorry. Of course, such power has a price. Screensaver. You must be willing to plunge head first into the forbidding chasm of amateur advancement and this art comes only with the completion of deadly and painful trials. Yeah. I ask you now, as Spider, are you prepared to leap into the abyss in pursuit of power unrivaled? <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! <laughs> okay, let's do it not. Fine. <laughs> Confident response. Your name, if you will? Very well, Let us mark your initiation with a try at the limits of your aptitude in channeling down the Huge hornet, star marmot, and snapping shrews inhabit this land in abundance. Exercise your sorcerer's might and slay three of each of these creatures, turning to my side. Oh god, early quests! Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> And that should be it for your... Until I go outside, yeah. Hey, guys? Guys? You okay? I think they're asleep. It's possible. <laughs> oh, the Thaumaturge chain is hilarious. <laughs> yeah. Hi, Hito. <laughs> yeah, 
True. He he though. Unholy matter. Hihito has had enough of her husband's work ethic and needs someone to whip him into shape. Oh, how do I you... look like a dominatrix to you? <laughs> no, don't answer. <laughs> you do not want me to answer that. <laughs> how can the ossuary demand such exorbitant contributions every single moon? It's outrageous, I tell you. Don't they understand that a woman has needs? How do they expect me to pay for a rouge and some silk dresses and feed my marmot? Oh, uh, we need to kill a marmot, right? Don't start. <laughs> oh, if only I'd had the foresight to marry a more ambitious man. This is all his fault. If he just worked harder and showed some initiative, surely he would be rewarded. Maybe even promoted. If things don't improve, it won't be long before I join the biggers in Pearl Lane. Save me from this cruel fate, I beg of you. Speak with my husband, Bubu Unima, and find some way to motivate him. You should find him at the Coliseum entrance wearing one of those ridiculous outfits. Ah, uh, and that would be a pointer to my quest person. Yeah. One of those ridiculous outfits. Well, in this Not case... Not counting he's... our outfits. They are actually kind of ridiculous. I mean, seriously, who would put that sort of stripes on a Rogadin? Really? Really? I can In tell pink? you. No, no, no. I know exactly who would do that. Redolent Rose? Yoshi P. Hmm? Yoshi P. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He totally did. <laughs> Everything in this I game is Yoshi P's fault. We all know that. Out she... Yoshi Hi, I'm Bobo Nimi. Congratulations, you found the world's worst husband. That's it. I if you know this is the contest. <laughs> That's it. If you believe that harpy I have for a wife, she never cooks, she never cleans, she just gallivants spending my hard earned money. And now I see she's speaking ill of me to bloody strangers. Well, if that hell's... If your hell's bent on meddling in my affairs, can you assist me by taking some of these Franz the Fair Flyers and posting them on the walls inside the Coliseum? I've got a long shift still ahead of me, of me standing out here, so you won't be getting to it... In, so I won't be getting to it anytime soon. When you're finished, go and talk to Wolkin at the Gladiator's Guild. He should give you something for your trouble. Oh god, Franz the Fair. <laughs> Franz the Fair, who actually kind of lives up to his gladiatory name. <laughs> yeah. Do, 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 do. Oh, look, here's an exposed wall for a nice Friends the Fair flyer. A notice singing the praises of one Friends the Fair, an extremely popular gladiator, gladiator that can be noted by the excessive use of exclamation marks. Yeah. <laughs> so, think it's a kid unit? Genevieve? Genevieve. Ah! What have you done? Your kind has no business to even look at a lady such as I. Such shocking, unbelievable insolence. And now look. Look how my gill is scattered across the ground. Pick it up. Pick it up right this instant. Only if I get to keep it. <laughs> oh, we wish. Lady no, Gen Lady is an island. Lady Genevieve wants you to have a skill which you caused her to drop on the ground. This oh. is such a, oh my god, I'm holding your hands quest. <laughs> yeah. Why do I have the Beatles song going through my head right now? Which one? I want to hold your hand. Ah. Yeah, 
meow, meow. It'll be nice to get to, you know, level two in the challenge. Uh, you mean hunting marmots? Something like that. <laughs> My gill now! And it had better not be missing. There better be not. A faint aroma of prosperity can be detected on this fair, freshly minted gill. <laughs> Why? Kill the brain. Hmm, this appears to be everything. What are you still staring at? Are you expecting some kind of reward? The insolence. Oof. And we get a, a reward of 120 gil. 102, <laughs> but yeah. Not quite sure how that one works, but yeah, yeah I'm just going to leave and not question it. Oh, look, an exposed wall. I think I'll put a Friends the Flyer for, right here. Friends the Flyer. <laughs> yeah. And before I go speak to my gladiator, we're going to pop up here real quick and attune to the local Aetherite Shard. Bootless good fellow. Really? <laughs> I mean, you to have boots. Yeah, yeah, that she does. That she does. Yes, there's an Aetherite uh, network in the city. We can kind of figure that out. Ah, uh, Wolken. You help him, Bubu Nima? Well, ain't that charitable? Friends has got him pretty popular of late. And his, fr fr uh, and his fans keep stealing these flyers and taking them home as souvenirs. Ah, uh, so you've met Bubu. Now I understand. Got caught up. They ask me if they're made for That is my place to judge mine. Any road we agree. Help. Oh. The last, the last time Wooken Woohoo! The last time that Wooken has to listen to the pair of them, the better. Yeah! Elemental gauge unlocked! Woohoo! I got a buff! Fight. Fight or flight! And that totally needs to go on a different bar that's not visible. I will have to modify my UI when after yeah, we log. <laughs> so, thankfully, my number two goes great. Because it's fire. Fire, fire, fire. Fire. Beat red, beetles, beat red. Red. Okay, then. Mm -hmm. Okan of the Gladiators Guild is muttering frantically about his implementation of Ladybug. Carried your arms in here looking for. Okay. Well, you're in luck. Just so it happens, I've been what needs doing. Wild ladybugs have been wreaking bloody havoc on this person. Really? I Something know. in the air or of late made them ornery as an arms and rust. Admittedly, they're a lot bigger ladybugs than you might know, but... Really? Ain't much for fighting on their own, but number more than a match for any more team more days than the team than he has on the battle. Oh, what'll it be? Fancy putting down four or so of the bloody buggers, or don't you? Eh. I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a sucker for quest. Well, first off, let's talk to Zazariku. That great gladiator. Zazariku needs an adventurer to pick up an or smith skill. Have you come to wish me luck? I appreciate the thought, but there's no need for it. What? You don't know who I am? The next biggest thing that's coming to the Coliseum? Azuriku is my name, and you'll be hearing all about my exploits in the coming day. I've even a title for myself. The Gurnet Gladiator. Yeah, yeah, not putting the cart before the horse at all. Nope. Not in the slightest. Ah, which reminds me. 
I have yet to collect the circlet I commissioned from Goldsmith. You wouldn't mind picking that up for me, would you? Yeah, I, I, I'm a sucker. Just, you know, I, I, I see that yellow bang and I... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they do... What are you doing? Ah, uh, and now time for the gladiator quest. And probably after this, we'll probably call it for the night. Okay. Lulusu. Welcome to the Gladiator's Guild, my friend. Tell me, are you new to the thrills of Mortal Kombat? Well, whether you are or not, you are new to us. If you would like to take your place in these hollowed halls, you must be willing and ready to undergo the most rigorous training. You must endure cuts and bruises of beyond counting, and like as not far worse. A daunting process, I can see, but there is no other way if you mean to take the blood sands one day. And why wouldn't you? The Colosseum is the one of the most celebrated places. The Colosseum is the only most celebrated place of public entertainment in all of Ulda. Where else could a poor man amass a fortune so vast that one day allow him to claim a seat on the syndicate? Right. And now we know what that's referencing. Yeah. That's referencing the Bull of All Amigo. Ah. There's not an old Don alive who isn't inspired by the rise of the self-same made man. And there is no truer embodiment of this than the gladiator who wins riches and fame with his sword. Throughout its long storied history, the guild has nurtured countless champions. Our training methods are second to none, and our members strive to develop new techniques. If you desire true glory, to fight and triumph, midst the roar of tens of thousands of voices, then this is where you belong, adventurer. Think of it. Think of your legacy. And if your soul stirs, join us. And now comes the history lesson. Because all the guilds have a history lesson. Oh, my head hurts. Yeah. Lulusu wishes you to reaffirm your desire to join the Gladiators <laughs> Guild. What will it be? Will you rise above the masses and inscribe your name in legend, or will you resign yourself to mediocrity and die in obscurity? I think I'm going to ixnay the die in obscurity. <laughs> A decision you shan't regret. One moment. Make way for Rena Frith. Fresh meat coming through. Now, um. <laughs> Gee, thanks! <laughs> now then, before your enrollment can be considered complete, you must present yourself to First Sword Malay. She's... Seek her out and obtain her approval. Wait, what? I don't get a history lesson? <gasps> uh, yeah. I'm shocked. I am You didn't kind of get one, and just keep it. <laughs> Mila? Myla. Myla? Okay, Myla. I can go with Myla. By the way, there was a little Wallafell at his trend. Wallafell, mm -hmm. pink hair, chibi who's hot. Nice! Ah, I heard Lulu Sue. So you're Rena Frith. Tis a good, strong name. On behalf of the Gra Gladiators Guild, allow me to welcome you. I am Myla, Guildmaster here. So you wish to study our arts. I presume you, you have reason for choosing the sword over other weapons. Perhaps you think it's easiest to learn. A sword is a simple weapon. But to wield a blade well is anything but simple. For every Colosseum champion to emerge from our ranks, there have been countless disappointments who failed to achieve greatness. Bear that in mind before you answer me, Rena. For I do not ask this question lightly. Do you have the strength to live by the sword and, if it be your fate, die by it? Have you strength to live by the sword? Um, yes. <laughs> I 
That was a good tweak. <laughs> then welcome, Gladiator, to your new home. Let's not waste time, shall we? I would judge your aptitude for the sword. Just outside the gates of Ulda, you'll find plenty of marmots, hornets, and shrews. Slay three of each and return here when you're finished. A simple task, but essentially to your training, essential to your training nonetheless. Now, go. Yeah, they're totally holding our hands. <laughs> I sense a lot of uh, 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 bothering the local wildlife. Yes. Shall we leave it here and continue our quest roundup for next week? Wanna go have a cup of tea in the uh, the uh, Sam's first? Or... No, actually, I think it would be better if we called it here because of the okay. way they lead you through the city and all the different aetherites. Okay, fine. So. <laughs> okay. Put yes, your class in... adventurer, job, rat catcher. Okay, remember everyone, get yourself in a comfortable position. You're going to be stuck like this for the next week. Indeed. Thank you all for joining us. We hope to see you next week. We're having fun doing this. I hope you're having fun uh, listening and watching. Be safe. Good night, everyone.